Hi, my name's Laura Maltley. Um I've lived in Scamsdale since I was 15. Um, yeah, pretty long time really, actually. Yeah. How are you, man? Climbing yeah. the walls, yeah. Climbing the walls, yeah. I know, it's awful, isn't it? There's people worse off than us though, isn't there? Yeah, all we've got to do is try and keep safe, isn't it? I have my own business in Scam. I'm a local landlady, my own pub. I'm stressing because I just don't know when it's going to be. They're going to say, stop, your dogs are killing each other here. Yes. Oi. Anyway, girls, what I've phoned you for, you know, obviously, you're in furlough. I've, I've applied now to the government for, obviously, 80% of your wages. So now, in a couple of weeks, it should be all together for you. So how long will it take then, Laura? They left in a couple of weeks. Oh. Wow. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I know you're like, you've had no wages ever since we shut down. Yeah, it's the bills and that, the bills. Not a lot now, aren't they? That's it. Yeah, so hopefully, girls, as soon as the government, it's not me, you know what I mean? I miss everybody. Yeah, it's all for us, like. I just get what little snippets off the news, or I just go on, you know, the government helplines and what have you. I've worked really hard for it, do you know what I mean, and put a lot of money into it. But it's just, the, it's the unknown. I just don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. Stressful. Very stressful. Okay. <laughs> I feel so awkward. I'm not going to lie. And my lease keeps coming undone. Bailey. Hi, I'm Molly Waterhouse. Um, I'm 17 years old. <clears throat> myself during like lockdown I've had like a lot of ups and downs like a lot of the time you'll be in your bedroom just like stuck with your own thoughts and it can really like it can really get to you so like my sister's the same like it's like a family thing it, we all like kind of struggle with it so lockdown has took quite a big toll on my mental health Um, I try and keep myself busy. I'm currently doing my washing. Quite boring. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I'm quite excited to have a fun weekend. Um, oh yeah, it's Wednesday, the twenty second of April. And yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you my life basically. Um, yeah, I'm quite nervous, <laughs> but I do like the idea of kind of showing that it is something that um people struggle with because i feel like not it's not spoken about enough i myself struggle with it i've got family members who struggle with it so i think it's a very close subject to me and i feel like it would be really helpful for people to watch it and see that they're not the only people struggling it's other people in the same area as them and it can be spoken about i don't feel like it should be something that's kind of shoved under the rug all the time and um, because people are too scared or feel anxious about talking about it Oi! I'm sick of this lease coming undone right i feel so awkward because i'm walking around like this holding my camera <laughs> so every day i take my beautiful dog literally my pride and joy um on a walk and yeah it's just nice to get out um nice to get out and about the dog can have a bit of a run around uh, i'm near like where they've cut all the trees down to make that like new retail park or whatever they're doing um bailey wait 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 yeah so i'm out this is my exercise for the day um yeah, I love just getting out. I throw my AirPods in, I put some music on and I just vibe my way through the walk with the dog. Um, but getting out, just getting out once in a day, it's just so nice. And I appreciate walks so much now. Like I used to hate going on walks. And obviously because this is, this is the only thing we can do that we're allowed to do. Um, I love doing it. I love walks now. 
it's so relaxing, especially when I put my music in. Like, oh, is that on there? Hello, uh, my name is Joe Kirkbride. I'm a singer songwriter from Skelmersdale. So, not only are we in isolation, um, weeks prior to us all going on lockdown, uh, they cut down all this woodland to make a big, um, what do they call it? Oh. Retail park, yeah. And uh, obviously, work stopped now with the coronavirus. Um, but it just looks like the end of the world, doesn't it? Someone walked past and I got really nervous, so I ended there. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, when I'm with other people, like it's just nice to like kind of get out of the house with everyone. But when I'm by myself and it's just me and the dog and I can put my music in, like I feel so chilled out. Um, I, I tend to go on them a bit more often, like I definitely go on a walk. We were on our way to, to go shopping, uh, but my girlfriend, Forgot the shopping list, <laughs> so she's um, she's had to run home for it. So I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting here on the path. I was going to go with. I did offer to go with her, but then she started running, and I thought I'm no runner. So yeah, it's a very windy day, but it's beautiful. The sky's blue. I've got my shorts on. Good day. I just had an idea actually. Uh, I think it might be funny if I maybe hide and scare her. <laughs> Just realised I'm like a little kid, aren't I? Laughing like that. <laughs> so here I am in, in position. Just gotta wait for her to turn up. Once I see someone walk around that corner, I'd imagine it'll be them. I don't want to give away my position. Here she comes. <laughs> <Bah! laughs> you fuming? Yeah. You fuming? You've had to, just had to run back to get the shopping list. Oh god, she is angry. She's not even looking at the camera. Walks was so like to me i took walks for granted so much like if if i was in bed and my mum or my sister came up to me and was like oh do you want to go on a walk i would have said no whereas now i'm like do you want to go on a walk today should we go on a walk today because i just find them so relaxing and they're just so like i don't know <laughs> you know you get what i mean i've used i've used all the words that i could to describe sit oi hey no, don't want to. We're just gonna wait. <sighs> anyway, but I'm basically home now. But um, yeah, that, that's, that's that's this because I think it'll be quite a while. Because even though they said like all oh, lockdown will finish in three weeks, like social distancing will still be a thing. It is what it is. Just gotta deal with it. But yeah, that's, I've got nothing planned for today other than. Getting ready for my birthday. Already being made available to over 65 to key workers, for example. I'm nearly 49. No, I'm not. I'm nearly 50, but I'm staying at 49 with this lockdown because my birthday is very soon. So. This is me on a normal Saturday night when I was working in the pub, you know, getting ready, getting dressed up, go out, back out, live music, bouncing pub. My life has changed drastically since the pub's been shut down. My Saturday nights have dramatically changed. Okay, I've just watched. Um, So I've just watched Boris's announcement. <laughs> Ignore my dog, but I feel like that's just part of my life, so you can have that. Um, I 
I'm not surprised. Um, I think it was the right idea for him to keep lockdown in place. And now we have kind of a better time scale. Like, like we know some restaurants will be open at July at the earliest. So at least we have that. Like, I don't know. It's just a horrible situation. Um, like, I feel like it is just going to spike again because he said that people can go outside more. I feel like people will abuse that and I feel like there will be a spike but it's trial and error. The government don't know, like just because they're the government doesn't mean they're the new, just because they're the government that doesn't mean that they know how things are going to pan out. They have to just do what they think they can and if it goes wrong then so be it, start again. I do go to the pub every few days. Obviously, it still needs maintenance and like we're checking your cellars and this, that, and the other. And like my fridges and all that have been emptied and turned off, but it's just like maintaining it. So I do have to go up there a couple of times. Basically, we just, you know. On that day, didn't they? They just shut us down. No, nothing. Just shut us down, and you don't hear nothing. Don't know nothing. All the time, my phone goes all the time. Like, oh, have you heard anything yet, Laura? Have you heard? These are from the customers. Have you heard anything yet? What's happening? Can't wait to get back. I miss a pint. I miss the crack. Well, they have said like that. You know, they're going to start opening all the businesses up on that, aren't they? But lots of people, isn't it, in the same place at once? That will be the last to open. Someone said to me the other day, it's not going to be till Christmas. I won't be able to last till Christmas. Still pay me overheads and stuff like that. There's, there's just no way. Not telling me nothing. They're saying like we've got this stage one, two, three, but I'm nowhere in them. Yeah, am I? So with the business, with the pub, they're not saying. <sighs> Thanks for doing. Got no money coming in, and they're also coming left, right, and centre. Make sure the fairy tax came in. <laughs> Let's see. Bills. Hopefully, fingers crossed, in a couple of few months. So, I may be a bit now. Oh, it's killing me. Absolutely killing me. Yeah. Rubbish, yeah. Because it's all mine as well, you know what I mean? It's not a brewery owned or anything. So it is all mine, yeah. It's my staff as well, you know. I have staff in there. It's not fair, yeah. Mm. Every time I walk in, I like, get tears in my eyes. It's like proper grim. It's my business, it's my life. Shit, isn't it? hard, really hard. Do you know what I mean? It's my life, it is my life, it's my pension. I don't know whether I'll have a business. Okay, knock it off. but I've not really been focusing on this project very often, or not that much past couple of weeks. Um, Me and my sister, we always say like, oh, we have up days and down days. Like start off where like, I'll just wake up and I'll just like not feel fully myself. And then like, then everything kind of gets to me. So like, 
one thing will happen and in my head it's so much bigger than the, what the actual situation is um, and it kind of just builds up to like a bit. I'm doing really bad mentally, um, I keep putting myself down a lot, um, and it's Mental Health Awareness Week which like it helps a lot seeing all these posts to people but to be honest this is probably the worst I've been. Um, yeah. Um, one sec. <laughs> like, there's been, the, it can build up over like days, but sometimes, like, if you're having a really bad day, like, I can just, like, I could cry on cue, basically. Okay. So, it's Mental Health Awareness Week, and I want to use this to kind of. I don't even. Oh. Being by myself is so difficult. Like, I don't live with my mum, which makes it difficult. Like, sometimes I just want to see my mum. Um, so, like, my mates who live with their mum sometimes don't understand, like, why I just want to go to my mum's house. And, like, you can't, but I'm like, I want to. Like, you live with your mum. You don't understand, like, what it's like to, like, not have your mum there every day. To me, that's like the worst part of it all is like not being able to see my mum because I used to live with her, but now I live here, and then this has happened. It's okay if you don't, if you're, it's okay to not be okay. Like, if you feel down, don't tell yourself you're being stupid. It is completely fine to cry. I'm in the house by myself right now, so I'm using this opportunity to just get this all out. I've made myself some breakfast and I sit down and have a minute, but it is so, so, so important for people to make mental health a priority because trust me, I didn't make it a priority a few years ago and it showed. So, Whenever you feel sad for no reason, just cry. Just let it out because trust me, it makes you feel better. Um, yeah, I'm very vulnerable right now, so I'm just gonna eat my breakfast. <laughs> but yeah, the, yeah. Sometimes, even though you have loads of people around you, it doesn't mean you're okay. And I feel like that's like, that's like the biggest misconception with mental health is like just because when you see someone and they're surrounded by people and people are making jokes and you're, they're laughing with them, it doesn't mean they're not struggling in some way. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of how my head takes it is everything just seems so much bigger. Um, I've not really done a lot this week apart from enjoying my last week of my 40s. You've got the best washing line I've ever seen, Lana. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going up to do my morning checks on my pub, a little walk up. Check um, everything's all all right. Still don't know when, when we're going to be open. There's no clarity on anything you see at the minute. I keep getting messages and texts and all. Oh, we're going to be open by the 4th of July. I'm like, well, I've not heard anything. I have no clue. I think people are really ready for a pint now, aren't they? So, um, yeah. Nearly there now. My poor little pub. But yeah, just have to keep doing my checks and uh, airing the place out. It's starting to not smell a bit, but 
you just know it's not being used so right I'm nearly there now so just sign off